Hey guys, Andy Austin, 19 years as a nurse practitioner in interventional pain management. We're super excited to be bringing this video to you. It's a pretty new uh, treatment for chronic knee pain. So if you have chronic knee pain, if you've been told you have bone on bone on your knee in your knee joint, or if you're a primary care provider that uh, treats people with chronic knee pain and you're limited on what you can do for them, and you see them suffer, this is the video you need to watch because it's new stuff and it's cool and it works. So what is it? What we're talking about today is genicular nerve block, okay? What's a genicular nerve block, you may ask? I'm glad you asked. The genicular nerves, there's three of the genicular nerves that, that come across the knee that serves as purely sensory, which means pain by itself, has no muscle function at all, okay? So when you block these things, you don't have to worry about any weakness, okay? So it's purely pain nerves. The genicular nerves, you have four, but we block three of the four, okay? If you look at this drawing, that's your kneecap, right? Femoral head, condyles, tibia, which is another bone. Here, I'll show you on this model here, okay? Patella, that's your tendon. That's a hit, make your reflex go. This is the side of the, the, the lateral portion of the knee. Okay, that's the fibula, tibia, femur, okay? That's what forms the knee joint, right? Okay, everybody knows that. All right, good. So, the important thing is location, location, location is all about the genicular nerve block, okay? It's very important that you be referred or, or refer your patients to someone who's very up to the up on this. They're used to this. Orthopedic specialist, radiologist, interventional uh, pain specialist, someone, and it's a guided nerve block. Okay. Now, literature shows that they've done research with fluoroscopy and ultrasound, but I will tell you, because the anatomy, it's very important. It's it's, it's best in my opinion, to use ultrasound guided and uh, genicular nerve blocks, okay? And I'll show you here in a minute why. So, genicular nerves, there's four, we're blocking three. The green represents the genicular nerves. So you can see these guys just spider web and cover the whole entire portion of the knee and the synovial capsule. Now the synovial capsule is the actual inside the knee joint. That's where all the inflammation and the arthritis and everything, the pain, all that bad stuff lives, okay? So we're turning off the pain communication from that on up into the brain, okay? So you have the superior lateral genicular nerve, comes right across there, superior medial, which means in the middle, right? Inferior medial genicular nerve, okay, on the medial side, and we're gonna leave this one alone, the inferior lateral genicular nerve, because we leave that alone, because we're able to get really, really good coverage of the knee joint, and this nerve, the inferior lateral genicular nerve, is close proximity to the peroneal nerve, and that's the main motor nerve that goes down and feeds your foot, okay? So we don't even wanna get around that dude, okay? It's not worth it, okay? We get good response with blocking these three. So what does all it, it, does it entail? It's a simple outpatient procedure. You, you lay back, they lay you back, they use a little ultrasound, and three little injections. And where we're blocking are right here, right where these genicular nerves come across before they branch out and feed, okay? So when you block here, you're blocking all this. And when you block here, you're blocking all this. When you're blocking here, you're blocking all this, okay? And the reason why we said earlier about using ultrasound, it's easier to identify proper landmarks where you need to do the block because of the relationship of the genicular arteries. There's the red. So under ultrasound, you're moving the transducer around and you go to these epicondyles, you find the genicular arteries and you know you're in the right spot because the genicular nerve lives right beside it, okay? So when you do the block, the block we're injecting some short-acting numbing medicine. That's a diagnostic, people. Patients, please keep in mind, it's for diagnostic, okay? 
The first part, it's a test. We numb up these nerves, boom, 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 turn them off, numb them up, and you tell us how much relief you get. If it's over 50%, we're on to something, okay? And so it's gonna last, during that test period, it's only gonna last probably a, a day or two, all right? The, long, the, the length of pain relief with the blocks is not that important, okay? It's not that important. What's most important is how much relief you get immediately afterwards. Because if it comes back too soon, and it will, because the medicine will wear off, then we, they can do a procedure called radio frequency ablation of the genicular nerves. Same procedure, same procedure, except when they put the little needle down and instead of injecting numbing medicine, that'll wear off in a day or two, they run radio waves, okay? And it goes down, heats the little nerve up, cauterizes the little nerve, and it blocks that pain transmission from getting out of that knee, okay? The big difference between the treatment, the radio frequency, is it may take a couple of days for it to start working, okay? I tell people give it a week or two for it, you really don't really know how much relief you're gonna get. It may take up to three or four weeks, maybe six weeks at some times for maximum relief. Because remember, you think about you heating up that nerve and it's, and it's, and it's uh, um, kind of scarring and it's interfering with that transmission, okay? So around four to six weeks, you, you know what you got and it should stay like that for six to 12 months. Now that, that might not sound like a lot for some people, but I'm telling you, if you suffer with chronic knee pain forever and you've tried everything, and you're bone on bone, and you can't have a knee replacement, right? Because you have other comorbidities, and you don't like pain medicine, what else you got, right? So this is an option, this is a good option, okay? So talk with your primary care provider about it. Primary care providers, watch the video over again. Figure out who in your area does these type of procedures because it helps people right? And it gives us another way to treat, help folks with this chronic knee pain, okay? The procedure's outpatient. You come in, you get three little sticks, see how much relief you get. If it's a lot, they go back in when the pain comes back, cauterizes it, and then you go for six to 12 months. It can be repeated, okay? So I think we covered everything. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. Please subscribe. We're going to be covering a lot of other stuff. It may help you. It may help your patients. And it may help your loved ones. So subscribe. All right. Y'all have a good day.